Hello everybody, it's Matt and welcome to Collaboration Coach. In this video, I'm gonna show you some accessibility features in Microsoft OneNote. And before we get started, if these videos are useful, then please subscribe to our channel as we're posting every week. And also leave us a comment below, we love to hear what you think. So I've got three accessibility features in Microsoft OneNote to show you. First of all, it's the immersive reader. Second is dictation and third is accessibility. So let's take a look. First of all, Immersive Reader. And I'm doing this demonstration today in Microsoft OneNote for Windows 10, but all of the features I talk about today are available in Mac OS as well. The Immersive Reader is accessed through the View menu. If you come up to the View menu up here, you see the Immersive Reader button below it. Immersive Reader just reads back the content of a page rather than you having to read the text. To start the Immersive Reader, all you need to do is hit the Immersive Reader button and it opens up this new view that shows you the contents of the page. You can press the play button. Get organized in notebooks. You can divide into sections and pages. With each and it starts to read the text. So as it reads the words, it obviously shows you which one it's reading at the time. So you can follow along as text is read. So it sort of supports what's being said. And it will do that down through the whole page. So this supports people who have difficulties with sight and also reading. As well as reading out the page, you can also customize what happens while the page is being read. So for example, there's a text preferences feature here where I can make the text bigger or smaller. And I can also increase the spacing so I can have the words and letters tighter together or more spaced out. I can change the font and the color. Up here, I can also change the grammar options. So for example, I can have the syllables represented with a dot. So in between each syllable, we have a dot this toggle. I can also identify the nouns. So if I wanted to toggle the nouns on, you can see now nouns are being colored with purple and I can manage the color as well. And I can do the same thing for verbs, adjectives and adverbs. You can also switch on labeling with this toggle and that shows you what type of word you're seeing. So for example, easy is an adjective and you can see the green relates to the ADJ and Purple are nouns, which links to the N. You can also change the reading preferences with this button here. When I choose that, I can change the line focus, which narrows what can be seen on the page. I can also have a picture dictionary and translation of words. So in this case, I'm translating from English to French, but I can choose to translate into other languages as well. What it means is when I come to the page and I click on the word, I will see it represented in English, in French, and in a picture. And I can click on Always. the English version, Toujours. the French version, and I can see the image too. At any point, you can toggle either of these on or off and change the translation language. Finally, we've got a configuration for the voice speed. So if you want things to be said much faster, you can just use this slider here to speed it up and you can change it from male to female. So the next feature for accessibility is dictation. So this is obviously really useful if you don't want to have to type with your hands using the keys. As long as you've got a microphone, you can use Windows or Mac OS to do the dictation. Today I'm going to demonstrate this on Windows 10 and it's slightly different on Mac OS. Just the way you interact with it, but essentially the effect is the same. So with Windows 10, you have a dictate button, which is on the home menu in OneNote. And you can choose the language that you want to dictate from. So in this case, I've got English United States, but you could choose other languages. And then when you're ready to start dictating, you just press the dictate button and off you go. So it will start to write down the things you say. It also supports some commands as well. Like if you want to put a full stop at the end of your sentence, you say period. No, that gives you a full stop. If you want to go to a new line, you can say new line, 
which will move you to another line. Okay, so the final feature for accessibility is called the accessibility checker. So you access this from the view menu. The accessibility checker basically looks at the page or the notebook and tries to show you which pages or what elements of the page might be difficult to read with someone with disabilities. So for example, if you, if you only had partial eyesight, you might not be able to see text of a certain size or color. The accessibility checker is looking for things like that within your pages. So I've got a page here that I'm gonna run the checker against and it's gonna highlight some of the issues that it looks for. So it's just a normal OneNote page. I've got an image, I've got some text. I'm gonna run the checker and let's see what we see. So from the view menu, I hit the check accessibility button and it brings out this pane on the right hand side and it's looking at my page. So you can see I've got five issues, two errors, two warnings, and one tip. And you can also see that I can go across the whole notebook if I want to, where it's found 19 different issues. So let's have a look at one of the errors here. So I've got a missing page title. And as you can see, there is no page title at the top here. And if I expand that and click on it, it will actually show me why I should fix it. So for example, page title makes it easier for you to find information and also helps people with screen readers to get a summary of what the page is. And also shows you the steps to fix. So I need to put in a title up there and that will fix that. Now, if I refresh the checker, it will actually remove that error. So because I've solved the problem, it's removed it from the checker. Now let's have a look at the next one missing alt text so this is on that image and it's saying why fix this again screen readers use alt text to describe what's in the picture and it also tells you how to fix it so i just need to do a right click i do alt text and i'll keep this simple and just say mountain now if i refresh the checker it will remove that error as well so you can see how the accessibility checker would be really useful it's a, just a quick way of seeing how accessible your notebook is. All right, so they're the accessibility features for Microsoft OneNote. I hope this helps. And if you have any comments or suggestions on how you use them, please add them below. And I'll see you next time.